Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to share with you a, uh, a hack, a um, chest harness hack for GoPro. Actually, is it a hack? It's just something I thought of today. Now, I, the reason I have my GoPro on the helmet here is because I don't think it's safe. This is a bit of a, bit of a, yeah. I don't think it's safe to have it on a chest harness. I hate the way it feels a bit restrictive um, when you're riding. And I've now had two friends of mine who, when they land, the GoPro, because yeah, there's a little bit of padding, but basically the GoPro's smacked into their chest and it's it's hurt, it's cracked their ribs, etc. Um, and it's been pretty awful. So that's why I don't wear one of those. However, that is, in my humble opinion, the perfect view. You must have the handlebars in the shot because that gives a sense of movement. If you don't have the handlebars in the shot, in the low part of the GoPro shot, um, the viewer doesn't get, when it sets a false horizon, so you can, um, the stabilization's better, and also it makes it show how hard you're working. You know, if you're going down or something, if the camera's up there, you're just floating through. If it's there, you get a really good view. But I won't wear a chest harness because I think they, if you crash, it's lethal. So what do I normally do? I put my GoPro on the helmet there. Um, I fix it to this. I never have it hanging lower than the chin because I have some people and it hangs down there, which is just mad. It's mad because if you crash, that's gonna go smashing into your throat. Um, equally, just, just personal opinion, if you have your GoPro mounted on the top of your helmet and you go under a low branch, it is going to rip your head back. It's, it's mad to ride like that. So this is a compromise because it's quite low. It's almost like a chest harness but it's safe. And now this is where the hat comes in. I recently bought one of these. It makes me look like a stormtrooper. Truth be told, all the kids at, um, at Forest of Dean were wearing these and they look really cool and they look really rad and I kind of wanted to look like them. So I bought this and I've been wearing it for the last few rides and I've got to say, massive fan. Now this is the Troy Lee Designs one. Um, wasn't too sure, but in a hot ride, Oh my God, it's comfortable. Uh, these are all just air holes, but it is rock solid. So I was riding with this full face helmet and I suddenly thought to myself, actually, the one obstacle to riding with the chest harness is if it hits you, um, it's gonna cause some serious damage. So then I thought, actually, I've solved that problem. Because this is hard armor, a GoPro hitting this is no worse than if you landed on a rock. So maybe I could have the perfect view, but with the protection of if I land, it's not gonna hurt me. And all you need is one of these sticky. If you, when you buy a GoPro or any accessory, you're gonna get a load of these. Um, <laughs> that looked really professional, didn't it? So a load of these that just have the sticky on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick that onto there and then actually your camera. So they can just leave it on there forever. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna stick out anywhere. But actually, when you when you ride that's now going to be the perfect shot so actually i'll tell you what let's do this let's do this live my god this is exciting it's now going to take me I've, i do have fingernails it's going to take me 20 minutes to just peel oh, come on okay i've got it okay so hands are a bit sticky there we go this is live action. This is live action, people. Hey, while I'm here, I just started a podcast. These are my episodes. So if you want to uh, recommend my podcast to a friend, maybe someone you've fallen out with, um, it's worth saying to them, you should listen to this podcast. It's really great because that would be a fantastic practical joke. So I'm going to stick this in the middle whilst looking down on it. I think about there. Is that the middle? Okay. There's probably a massive double chin issue there. So that now is sitting in the middle. It doesn't protrude, you can't really see it. But if you use the low profile, here's another tip. If you use the low profile, which way up am I gonna go? The general rule for a chest harness, well, for a GoPro on your chest, if it's on a harness, is that actually there should be two fingers. When you put the GoPro in, you angle this up and that should be two fingers for that angle. And if you do that two finger angle, that's about perfect. So this is on there now, 
With the low profile one, this is the top tip. So with this low profile one, so some of them have a higher, it's higher there. With the low profile one, if you do that, it is locked in place, it touches there. It touches there. And then when you put it in this harness, that is exactly the two fingers. So what it means is you're not going like that, going, oh mate, you know, is this, is this all right? Does that look like I'm pointing in the right direction? Once you realize that that flush, so it hits to there, then on a chest mount is actually the perfect spot. So it means you don't have to fiddle around it. So I'm gonna slot that in there. There we go. Rather than muck about, oh, is it two fingers, is it not? That falls down where it hits, that is the perfect angle. So now I can wear a, get all the benefit of the GoPro with the chest, but if I crash, that is not going to break my ribs. That is my top tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Please listen to the podcast. The podcast is brand new. It's Richard's Mountain Bike Show because I couldn't think of anything more original. It's on Spotify, Amazon, anywhere that will let me post a podcast. So thank you for that and I'll see you next time.